Good day, everybody. This is uh, my indoor garden. By the way, name is Philip. If you didn't get that by my screen name. Uh, anyway, I wanted to show you guys my new uh, banana plant leaf that opened up. In my previous videos, you probably saw that this leaf was uh, was just uh, new and uh, hadn't opened up yet, but uh, there it is, and uh, looks so great. I wanted to uh, share it with you guys. Yeah, you probably notice the new lighting up at the top there. There it is. Yes, I decided I needed to upgrade my lighting. So, I got the 4 foot T5 high output uh, lighting system with the bulbs. The lighting fixture itself I got from Home Depot and you probably can't see because the lights are on right now but it does have a chrome reflective uh, backing which is another reason why it's so bright and uh, it was $89 now it wasn't listed as a grow light but it's a high output four bulb with chrome backing so this uh, fixture i guarantee is as good as any grow light system such as sun blaze or any of those other grow light systems 89 dollars is all i paid for that fixture um you know the bulbs are about 10 bucks a piece you can go to any indoor garden center and make sure you get uh, the cool white bulbs 6500k to get your nice blue uh, blue white spectrum which your plants need for vegetative growth um, I did add one bulb is a I believe a 3000k warm light which gives you your red spectrum and if I zoom in on there a bit you'll see the color difference now your warm or your red spectrum they say is more for flowering um, granted I'm, I'm growing these things indoors preparing them for the spring so I don't really plan on flowering indoors but I figured I might as well add one bulb just to kind of give me more of a broader range of the light spectrum so I got three 6500k bulbs and one 3000k so it's very very bright a um, whole lot brighter than the uh sunlight that I had mounted up here before uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get more of this in there picture for you sorry about the shakiness but uh, yeah was, most people probably don't understand why I get so excited about this uh, banana plant but I'll tell you when I first got this banana plant it was uh, it came in a four inch pot so it was just a little seedling and I didn't know if it was gonna survive because it had to ship uh, a long ways away you know I live on the west coast and you know, it came from east coast so uh, there was of course the shock of the plant going through shipping but that wasn't even the worst of it because two years ago is when I got this plant and it took two years just to get this big and primarily it took two years because 
my cat, who was just a kitten at the time, he wasn't trained, and hi kitty, he wasn't trained and he loved to tear apart the house plants. And so this banana plant lost a couple of battles to the cat who absolutely shredded the leaves of this plant. Not to mention the fact that it was coupled with uh, the fact that there was fungus gnats even back then. And I think this banana plant back then, uh, wherever I had it shipped from, it is what I think introduced the fungus gnats. Uh, because I don't think that we have fungus gnats traditionally in this area. So, um, not only did this plant undergo the, uh, the shredding by the cat, but it had fungus gnats, which now I realize aren't really a danger. But I was communicating through email with the seller who sold me this plant and I told him that I had some sort of bug in the soil and he suggested that I pull, you know, take the plant out of the soil, rinse it off, spray it with some sort of a, a, a natural or a, some, side, some sort of a, a bug uh, deterrent and I did that. Um, I took it out of the soil, rinsed the roots off, repotted it. I didn't know back then how difficult it was to get rid of fungus gnats. So the fungus gnats came back, probably because they had uh, spread to other pots around the house. Now, I didn't have a system like this you know, back then, I only had maybe three pots in the house. And they were on, you know, they were a good 20, 30 feet apart. So, uh, anyhow, fungus gnats came back to the banana plant. And so I ended up taking it out of the soil again, rinsing the roots, repotting it. Um, you don't know the nightmare that I went through with this banana plant. So to see it thriving like this is exciting. It's a relief. And it wasn't cheap. You know, initially I think I paid $20 or no, $10 for this plant. Um, can't remember what I paid for shipping, but it wasn't that much. So altogether under $20, but the first plant didn't get to me. It was lost in the post office. Um, now, the seller was nice enough to send me another one for free. But, of course, he wasn't going to pay the shipping, which I don't blame him. You know, he's a nice guy. He's always returned um, my messages. So I told him, I says, I really want that Texas Star banana plant. I just bought a new house, and I want a banana plant. I paid $40 expedited shipping. He, produ he provided the plant. We got it here. And then we had to deal with the cat and the fungus gnats. But I'm excited to see it's putting out leaves. Mid-January, in the winter, it, it's put out these three leaves uh, just during the winter. And that was with the old lighting system. Of course, I have it next to the patio door here to try and get as much lighting as I possibly can. Uh, natural lighting right next to the door. But this time of year, 
let's face it, there's not a lot of natural lighting. Um, so you need a grow light. Um, you know, if you want your plants to thrive this time of year. So I'm looking forward to the tomatoes, the peppers, all getting nice and big and healthy before the spring when I can plant them. So uh, now you know a little bit more about why I get so excited when I see this new leaves on this uh, banana plant. I'm looking forward to this guy getting about 10 feet tall. So I uh, wanted to give you guys an update. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, again, if you go with a grow light, make sure you get the T5 bulbs, not the T8, not the T12, T5 high output bulbs. I know it's counterintuitive because they're a smaller, skinnier bulb, but they're the brightest. T5 high output bulbs.